Hello, I'm Full Paragon, and this is your guide to the latest EX Arena. This arena is a character and defense based arena, so you'll get more points for using the right characters, which this time are Mia, Dust, Cecily, Chris, and Mel, and you will get more points for taking less damage. But this is actually a trap, as this arena will give you the most points for dealing a lot of damage. This team is what I would consider a suboptimal team, but it'll get the job done and I'll show you how to do it. The main reason that this team is suboptimal is it doesn't really have any way to deal with this boss's debuffs. If you have Ainumia, she is by far the best option, as she has a debuff block ability, which is really great here. Of course, there is a workaround to this, which is using agility downs on the bosses that will slow down the rate of attacks and cause you to take less damage and get debuffed less frequently. Here, I am using Arabian Dust as he has a tier two agility down, as well as using the agility down ultimate on Mia so I can really slow down the rate of the boss. It takes a little while for Mia's ultimate to fully get online, but once it does, it's going to pay me dividends. Cecily is usually enough to keep your team alive. You might lose Mia towards the end, but it's not really going to impact your score overly much. As you can see, I ended up with a pretty good score here, but we can do better. For the second team, I'm using the old standby, Legendary Darkness and Godqua. The Chris here doesn't really matter. It would be even better if I were using Ainu Mia as that debuff block is still pretty great, but any Chris with an attack up or really any Mia with an attack up will work better there. I just use Chris as usually she's a little more damaged than Mia. The last two slots won't matter because thanks to Godqua, you never will see them. The secret to Legendary Dark Chris and Godqua is, well, they're an incredible duo. They have pretty much all the buffs covered thanks to having an agility up as well as gauge up, an attack up on darkness, and of course cooldown cut on Godqua and a massive amount of healing as well as a defense buff for your whole team. So they've got everything covered. The only thing they don't have is an attack buff for Godqua and Chris takes care of that rather handily. Chris of course could also be doing an agility down on the boss if you really wanted her to and in the end it won't really matter. You can slap this baby on full auto and you will be able to get a perfectly passable score with minimal effort and a relatively limited roster. So that's a pretty decent score, better than the last one that I got, but of course we can do even better. This is your luxury maximum effort team. I knew Mia for debuff block, Summer Chris for having cooldown cut, and Valentine Cecily for having an agility down and a respectable amount of healing. Together, those three can more than handle things. I have Arabian Dust and Mel all the way in the back, Arabian Dust being the only dust that's worth even half of a flip, and Marrow being relatively irrelevant because as a weakness enabler, she doesn't really do anything against a boss that has nothing in the way of weaknesses. Still, this is the powerhouse team. If you can run it, you are going to get a very impressive score. As for how this team performs, well, it does everything that it needs to do. That debuff block is totally invaluable against this boss, as its debuff is going to really hinder your score if you let it abuse that just a little bit too much. Ainomiya also has an agility up for your team, which is quite handy, and that cooldown cut means that you'll be able to use the debuff block and agility up as much as you want. I am using Cecily's Super 2 here. Normally, that Super 2 really isn't worth a flip. However, the additional healing is quite nice, and her other supers really aren't going to be doing anything here anyway, and it gives me an excuse to use it since I went ahead and got it anyway. You don't have to be using this specific Cecily. You can try and use a different one and it won't make much of an impact at all, but Summer Chris and Ainumia are by far your best options here, except no substitutes. Well, that final score was pretty great, and you can get a pretty great score on this EX Arena as well. There's a lot of different teams that you can use, and you don't even have to use the designated characters. I hope this guide was at least of some help to you. If you have any team suggestions or teams that have worked especially well for you, put them in the comments so that people have a good idea of what works this EX Arena, and we'll see you around in Konosuba. Fantastic days.